Stock of the day is Fletcher Building. Uh, it's out with uh, its update, lowering its earnings guidance for fiscal 24 to $455 million. Uh, Kiwi due to a notable slowdown, it says, in house sales in the New Zealand market as property prices have eased. It's also noting a sharp correction in the Australian residential market, led by a 10% revenue decline from its forecast in the second half of 24 compared with a year ago and Fletcher expecting market conditions to remain challenging in both Australia and New Zealand and is looking to cut costs and its shares have been hit hard off the back of that update down around 10% in this morning's trade. David, what did you make of this and seems a little odd given their forecast in Australia. Does that really match what you're seeing? Well, it's a, yeah, it's a difficult one. Uh, I think the, the New Zealand industry is different to Australia and, and New Zealand takes up a majority of, of Fletcher Building's uh, business. But yeah, certainly some of the signs in Australia um, you know, probably aren't too diff different to what we've been seeing. The building materials companies that are getting the growth are those that tend to be focused on the US and, and Europe. Uh, so some positive outlooks for the likes of, of James Hardy and Reliance Worldwide that uh, you know, provide the, the bathroom uh, back of the wall or behind the wall um, sh operations. So yeah, locally, I think we're seeing a, a more difficult market and certainly in the New Zealand economy, um, even more difficult. So Fletcher is a, a, a tough one because on a valuation point of view, they stack up really, really well. So they're on a PE ratio of eight and a half times, dividend yield 7.3%. Uh, but this is the second downgrade. So uh, we saw in, in Feb that their uh, result was, was downgraded slightly as far as their, their guidance is concerned. Uh, today, they've announced a further downgrade to that. So uh, our analyst does have a buy recommendation on it, um, but the earnings forecasts that we had were in middle of, middle of their guidance. So potentially we could see a, uh, a downgrade from the analyst later on in the day. Uh, as I said, officially we've got a buy. I'd probably be leaning more towards a hold at the moment, given the uncertainty that we're seeing from the, the company. Yep. Okay. Mark? Um, I think the market reaction was quite rational, you know, to drop at nine percent on that because their trailing twelve months earnings were only three cents after forty-seven cents in um, twenty-three. So that was already a big drop, and now they've come out with uh, guidance saying it's going to be not good, and they're going to cut costs. So they're, they're flagging going forward is going to be worse. So uh, I definitely wouldn't buy it. I mean, as a business, I think we've never be, never invested in it, and team invest and. One of the reasons is the whole the construction business is a challenging area to invest. It tends to be a cyclical, but also it's you know the, the ups and downs depending on all sorts of things. It makes it very hard to get a consistent return. And I'm just looking at their earnings. If you go back ten years, they were th uh, 44 cents, and then, and then last year they were 47 cents, and then in between it's up and down. The highest has been 60. So it's really sort of gone. It's been flat over the long term with a few big dips. And they, they got into negative in the 18, uh, 19, uh, 2018 and also 2020. So uh, I, would, I just wouldn't be interested in it at all. I think there's way better companies to invest in. When you talk about those construction companies, uh, with a view to tomorrow night's budget, yeah. expectations that they're going to get a boost, because clearly the government wanted to build some 1.2 million homes by the end of the decade. Longer term, can you see some, some growth there? Well, we don't. I, I, I think yes, and I think the argument is surprising at the moment that they said that it was down in Australia because that's sort of mm. opposite to what we yeah. hear in the media. I'm not close to the building industry, but and there's all there are different players in different segments, and some are doing better than others, and so on. But I think um, they the, the there's probably a tailwind you could argue from the from the political side of things. Mm. But that doesn't mean as a shareholder you're going to get a return in a company that uh, just because there's a tailwind in the industry doesn't mean you make money or the company makes money. All right, so that is the view on Fletcher building a hold and, well, no, Mark's not interested. All right, let's